Hi, this is Henning from FlipNormals.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at the preview in Moto. It is by far one of my favorite features in Moto, and it's one of those which makes me come back time and time again for lighting, shading, and general look development. It's um, a progressive rendering mode, which will simply just keep refining your image until it's done, or until you can see what, what you want, uh, as opposed to buckets rendering one one bucket at a time and uh, you can't see your entire image until all the buckets are done so this is a very quick and easy way of um, of working when you're doing something like lighting shading or general look development as i said before uh, just to show you what it is i can quickly just rotate around and get a new camera angle you can adjust your lights uh, very easily intuitively you can adjust shaders, your colors of your entire scene, and so on very quickly. You have so many iterations with this kind of technique, as opposed to a system we have to re-render all the time. So for me, this is a huge feature of Moto. The first thing I want to talk about is, um, is the quality mode. The first one you have is draft quality, which is just going to give you well a draft quality view of your of your of your scene. The next one is uh, final render quality. This one's going is going to give you the fi the final settings you put into your render settings or the exact same settings, uh, which is pretty handy if that's what you want. The next one is uh, one called extended refinement passes, which is a very fancy way of saying this is just going to keep on chewing through your render until you pause it. Uh, at no point is this is going to stop. It's uh, unless you specify it. So this is very handy. Um, the cool thing about extended, extended refinement passes is that you can uh, you can pause it and resume it at some other point. For instance, uh, if I want to pause this now, uh, but re keep rendering it later on, um, I can I can close this down and I can start it up again because I can save this to a file. So. Uh, first, I have to enable full resolution, which is going to see, see, say that this is now 50% of my final resolution. Um, and now you can save out. Uh, let's just, just let it work for a little bit here. And then we can just save out a file uh, under save progressive render. Just call it preview. I've already done this before, so uh, I can just load in another, a file here and load in the preview file. And it's now just going to go to that point. You can see this one was uh, had got a little bit further ahead than the old, my old one. So you can basically save rendering time into a file via, via magic for some reason. So this is very cool. But let's just take it back to draft and let's just take away full resolution. Because right now it's rendering my full resolution, which let's just see here is uh, 800 by 1200 pixels, which is completely unnecessary. So let's just say, disable this and go back to draft quality. Next, we're going to take a look at how we can like disable stuff like shadows and global animation. This is very simple. If you want to dis if you want to work without GI, you can just go to settings here and hit global animation. If you can disable shadows, it's the same thing. Uh, refractions, displacement, and so on. Sometimes you simply want to disable global animation as you're just placing the lights, you're just blocking out where the shadows are going. And GI is just slowing you down. So instead of going under your render settings and, and disabling it, uh, actually disabling it in render settings, you'll just disable it from here. You can also disable motion blur, volumetrics, fur, and so on. Uh, very, very handy at certain times. Uh, next is a feature which allows you to basically paint where you want your uh, preview to render. Uh, let's just say let's just start this over again by closing it down and um, opening up again by hitting F8. I can now paint over his eyes, for instance, if I want if I want to to render there or his mouth or his other eye and so on. So you can see these areas are now the areas which are rendered, while the rest is still waiting. The reason for this is there is a feature. Uh, under settings and update under mouse, which allows you to paint where you want your rendering to happen, which is a huge feature for it. 
It, this is this is saving you so much time. Uh, next, we can preview out our um, our render elements or our our color our outputs here. Uh, so we can just check out the ambient illusion by going under effects, reflection amount, or reflection shading, specularity, and so on and so forth. This is very handy, um, as you don't have to re-render it as you do in some other applications. So you can adjust your ambient inclusion on the fly. So this is cool. Uh, of course, the painting of selection, the painting still works in this as well. So you can now paint where you want your rendering to happen. Uh, we can also check out a preview something like the specularity am amount, uh, which you can't really see in just uh, the specularity shading. Uh, for instance, we are adjusting if you're doing a, some kind of procedural or something like that. Uh, you want to see exactly where this procedural is happening. Uh, so I have now a cellular map here set to specular amount, and I want to just see exactly what this, this is doing. So I can hit effects, shading effects, and then just select specular amount. Uh, for me, this would be on recent and just specular amount. And you can now see exactly what this is doing here. So I can then just um, scale it up or down. And it, this is extremely fast. And you don't have to wait for it to render the entire image. It doesn't actually have to render the specularity for this. You, you only want to see what it's doing. Uh, another thing which is handy is uh, you can... You can preview only the selected item. For instance, if you're shading something, uh, you're shading the eyes of a character. You don't, don't necessarily need the rest of the face, which can be very hand or very hard to render and heavy. So, uh, if you want to only shade this character here, let's say we have a very heavy back background, we can just select render, select a character. Uh, go to your settings, and let's see, only uh, show only selected items. But doing this, it's going to only give us only the selected, well, item. You do have to re restart your run or your preview though, if you if you if you're clicking on something else like this. So if I want to only have the backdrop now, I have to just restart it by double clicking F8. Uh, double clicking F8 again, and it's going to restart it. So let's just disable this, and we're back to normal. So uh, you can also pause the preview by hitting this. You see this button with this rendering? Yeah, click that one. And it's going to pause it. There's no reason to have it running all the time. Sometimes that's just going to slow you down a lot. And that's about it for this tutorial. Uh, I hope you find it useful. And I'll see you around next time.